Thanks, Clint. Due to extremely popular demand, Kate Chandler has been sacked from last year. I've got the call up. Would have liked this a little bit earlier, but we'll see if the boys can still string some words together. We're going to start with Benny Brown, an award winner tonight, club ambassador. How important is it for you to be a part of the community? Oh, it's obviously super important. Um, and the, the club as a whole, I think, does a great job in that, that area. So um, it's a, definitely an honour for me to, um, to accept the award earlier. You're heavily involved with the AFLW program. Is that something you've enjoyed? Absolutely. Absolutely love it. Um, you know, everyone here, make sure that you get around, um, get around our girls. They're halfway through the season at the moment, um, playing over in WA this weekend, so I'll miss that game. But um, really looking forward to uh, watching them and um, being a part of it for the rest of the season. And you were up on stage a little earlier, played your 150th this year. You had your daughters out on the ground. I'm sure they were a little nervous in the lead up, but how was that moment running out with them? Oh, it was, um, meant everything to me. Um, family is everything to me, and to have my girls out there was um, you know, a, re a real honour for me. Um, so you know, it's a big thank you to the club for helping to, to make that happen as well. Very good. Thanks for your time, Benny. I've spotted another award winner here, Jake Bowie, best young player. There are a few Get him to stand up, players. Benny. Come on. Stand oh, up, stand Bowser. Up, Come on. There we go. A few good young players on your table. Anyone that you think fans should keep an eye on next year? Um, there's a bloke named Disco, Daniel Turner, who's pretty good. Um, Taj Woden, uh, great winger at Casey, and uh, Judd McVie, who's coming along nicely at halfback. Very good. Now, I saw you in the gym with a few of these boys, shirts off a couple of days ago. You're already into some work. How's your off-season going? Uh, yeah, pretty good. We went camping at Staff's Farm, shout out to Staff. Um, but yeah, had a running session in the rain the other day, so I thought it was necessary just to get the rigs out with the boys. So. Got any plans for the break? I know you like to have a hit of golf. Um, yeah, uh, hopefully play as much golf as I can um, with these boys before they go home. And yeah, quick shout out to Gus Brasher. I've just... Uh, Recently beat him in the handicap, so. Huge. Now, Gus actually gave me a question for you. He wanted to have an update on Green Zone termites and whether they have spiked in relation to being a proud partner of the Gus and Gordy podcast. I'm actually not too sure, but I heard they've been pre going pretty good, according to Brett. Um, yeah, you have to get him on the phone, I reckon. Uh, I don't know too much about Green Zone. <laughs> Very good. Well done tonight, Bowser. We'll keep moving along here, try and find a few more award winners. Jake Lever, actually. I have heard that Roaming Brian, speaking of Roaming, Roaming Brian crashed your wedding, is that true? Yes, that is true, Ben. And how did that go? Um, it wasn't great. Uh, it wasn't his best performance, but uh, yeah, no, it wasn't great. Very good. Well done, Rick. All right, we'll keep moving along through here. Rick gave us absolute donuts. We'll try and find someone who will give us a little bit more than that. I'm eyeing off Tom Sparrow, who was up on stage a little while ago. We had a big speech from staff. He's basically said you and Ooze are related. How is your relationship with Ooze? Yeah, I love Ooze. I think I can speak for everyone else here and say that we all love him. Uh, he's a great man and he's an even better coach. So uh, thanks, Ooze. You're a great man. Staff's speech was pretty special. What's it like playing under him? What, is he like that behind closed doors? Oh, he's very passionate staff. Um, Again, I'll speak for everyone. He's, he's very passionate about the game. Uh, he wants to get the best out of everyone. Uh, no matter if, what line you're in, he's, he's always happy to help you. And um, we really appreciate men like him around the club. So, well done, staff. We came out to your house a little earlier in the year. You and JJ lived together. There wasn't a lot of pride in terms of dressing it all up and making it look pretty. Do you dread nights like tonight? Nah, you know, the house is a little bit boring. There's nothing really going on there, but... Um, no, I love nights like tonight. You know, James and I sort of fly on the radar a little bit, but um, uh, yeah, he's a good housemate. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're we're pretty minimalist. We don't have anything on the walls. So um, honestly, like it's a it's just a rental. We don't need to have anything up. I don't think we've got anything to be honest. But um, uh, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Place to sleep. That'll do. We're going to move along to the skipper, Max Gorn. We're all here tonight for the best and fairest, but there's actually something very important that. We announced a little earlier on a Gus and Gorney episode that we recorded prior to VNF. That is the Gus and Gorney Champion Player of the Year. We had a tie. Do you want to reveal to everyone who won that award? Uh, yeah, it was tight. Um, we'd like to go a little bit off, off, off centre. Um, Cozzy Pickett was clear winner. And then Sam Wiedemann gets one for being the best looking bloke here. So um, it was a draw. It was a draw. 
What's your personal highlight been from the Yassin Gorni season? For me, Disco Turner sponsorship. Have you eyed off his uh, sponsors yet? Yeah, for those that don't know, we got Disco Turner. He didn't have a player sponsor, so we got 700 people to put in one dollar. Um, and there's a lucky two people here tonight. There they are. <laughs> yes. Disco, go meet your sponsors. <laughs> First season for you as a father, did, you, did it impact your preparation at all? Did you contribute at all at home? Uh, yeah, I like to think I did. Um, no, George is, George is beautiful. He's 11 months old, he's, 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 he's huge. Like he, there's a lot of talk about Jacko going, Brody Grundy, what do we do? George is 6'10", he's, he's 11 months old, I reckon we bring him in now. And you're planning to take him on a holiday tomorrow? Is that locked in? Yeah, we go to Milan tomorrow. Um, 24 hour flight. Uh, Jess and I are just going to take sleepers and the rest of the plane will just figure out <laughs> what George is going to be like. Wish you all the best for that. Go on, thanks for your time. I'll throw you back now to Clint. Hopefully we did uh, Kate Chandler justice.